Hello there. We are stuck in repeat mode, I'm afraid, which means yet more wet and windy weather to come. In actual fact, to close out this week, it's going to be a case of showers, longer spells of rain at times, and the winds will always be a feature. Morning, Carol. Um, stormy skies. It feels like it's never hasn't stopped raining forever. I can completely understand that sentiment, Naga. Yes, good morning, everybody. It has been pretty wet. In fact, in Sennybridge and Powage last night, Powage, I should say, we had 1.8 millimetres, or 1.8 inches, 46 millimetres of rainfall since six o'clock. That's a lot of rain. It's also been very windy. Gusts round the needles, 80 miles an hour. Mumbles, it was about 69 miles an hour. And in Bingley, 63 miles an hour. So you're getting the picture. It's a wet and windy start. And that's really what we're going to carry on with as we go through the rest of this week. Down. All the face. You need to calm down. Carol, it will be you're the, the one that needs to calm down. To calm down today. <laughs> Carol can calm us down. Uh, and I, I don't think so. None of that. <laughs> well, the weather isn't very calm actually for the next few days. Good morning, everybody. We're looking at wet or muddy conditions really wherever you are. Now, what impact is that having on the temperature? Well, today, for some of us, it still is going to be mild, as you can see from the yellows that whipped past there. But tomorrow, it turns colder. We then have a blast of milder air sinking southwards, and then overnight, Saturday into Sunday, and Monday, it turns colder once again, with some of us seeing some wintry showers. That looks... I mean, it does look rather beautiful, but it does look rather ominous at the same time, Carol. Morning. Good morning both. You're absolutely right, Naga. Good morning to you too. We're looking at wet and windy weather for really the rest of this week. Uh, also lovely to see it's Carol this morning. Um, not so lovely. Mike was talking about needing wet grass for Charlie to do the splits. <laughs> I think um, it wouldn't be, he wouldn't have to travel very far, would he? No, he wouldn't. And Charlie, if you do them, watch your trousers, for goodness sake. That could be a big faux pas. Anyway, we've seen a lot of rain in the, in the Charlie's last couple of days. We've seen a lot of rain in the last couple of days. I showed you this chart yesterday. And yesterday, we were just below average amounts of rainfall in Bala and also Blackpool. Today, after heavy overnight rain, we are well above.